Hello, I'm David. Hi, I'm Julie. So now we're going to do a review of Aliens Ultimate Badasses, uh, which is an expansion to Aliens Another Glorious Day in the Core. And, remember, and she's laughing because I reminded her <laughs> that in the movie he then says, every meal is a banquet, every, every formation a parade. parade. I, I love, love the, the core. core. And then you can't do the other things. No, when, you can't. When Hudson... No. <laughs> would you like me to invent your slippers? Uh, oh, yeah. would you please, Sarge? <laughs> yeah, and look into my eye. Anyway, my, yeah. you can tell we, we love this movie. I really do. So we really, uh, you know, I was looking forward to this game uh, mm -hmm. uh, being published, and I pre-ordered it, and then we got it, and then the pandemic hit. Because when I yeah. saw that uh, you had to put the miniatures together, it sat on the shelf for a while. But yeah. But you got to see our Aliens core game review, where, where I'll talk more about that. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look. Uh, when we do our reviews, uh, we come up with our reasons separately, mm -hmm. and then we give our rating. Yep. All right, so. Okay, well, what I liked about this is that there are different characters in this game than the core game. So you have people that you, you know, that usually would die in <laughs> very quickly in the movie. So it was fun to um, get to play them. And actually, Dietrich, who is the first one to die, she gets to be the superstar in this one, which is yeah. really cool. So I did like that a lot. Yeah. Um, I also like that they, they have experience cards now, which adds, you know, more to the game. Um, oh, he's trying to show you. Um, I, I just, you know, it adds something to it, which makes it so it's not so mundane and so similar to the first one. Now that I only have three things, and my negative is a combination of everything. Um, I found that, yes, I like the new characters a lot, but I found it to be very overwhelming of remembering to change everyone's dial and, and what everybody had to fight with and everything. And it made it go a lot longer than I thought it would. And if you see our playthrough um, video, it's way past my time limit of how long I can tolerate a game. And you can literally see me going from really <laughs> spunky to the end. I'm like ready to fall asleep. Uh, you were fading. I was fading very fast. And it's because I can't, I really have struggled doing games that are over an hour long. Yeah. And this one was way over an hour. So that was, for me, it was my negative. For someone else, it could be a positive because they like long games. But for me, no. Well, I think that the core game, you play with six characters. I think with, with it's adding the experience cards, mm -hmm. which adds every five turns you get a uh, you get an experience card, right? And then using them between turns added to the game time. So the six characters we have that in the core game too. So right, you're you're probably referring to the fact that the game was longer because of that. It could have been, yeah. yeah. But I felt like I did worked more on like trying to see, because when we've played at the table, you mm -hmm. can see things more on this, like this stuff way easier than I can. And it's like you're controlling everybody. But this time I was helping more. That's true, you were helping just, more this time. Yeah. It was very tiring for me and it was just yeah. overwhelming to try and take care of, you know, Drake and then help with this other stuff. and. It just got to be a little too much for me. Just well, yeah, it's, it's it's definitely one of the more complicated games. Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it. Played. It just was way, just, it made my little brain hurt. I'll tell you <laughs> this right now. After the game, I literally got done, took my mic off, washed up, and hit the pillow, right. and I think I was out in like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, well, like I said, it's over an hour, and that's, that's usually your limit. Yes. All right, so let's see what I said about What did game. you say? All right, so it does definitely provide more options. As you uh -huh. saw here, you have all the characters that died yep. early on, and it does have Burke, uh, and you can play him as a hero. Mm. Uh, now, I have a lot of negatives. Oh. Doesn't mean that I, I regret buying it, okay? I just I need to give anybody that's thinking about buying this what prevents this from being one of my favorite games, okay? Okay. So I don't regret owning this. Oh, good. Uh, but it's also not going to be a game that's going to hit the table as much. And here are the reasons why. So the game designs it encourages non-thematic choices to game the system. Kind of like what you do in a collectible game, like a collectible card game or a miniature game where you're going to munchkin everything. And, you know, and that refers to trying to maximize 
your your playing so that you beat oh. the game or you beat the other player. The way they've yeah. designed things here is what you really don't want to draw endurance cards, okay? Mm -hmm. Because if you can set up your characters ahead of time with whatever equipment they need, mm -hmm. then obviously, I mean, you can, you know, try to draw events, mm -hmm. all right? But what prevents me from wanting to draw cards are these hazards. Because if you get hazards, it's a real big bummer. Oh. So. Yeah, I forgot about those. So when we uh, play the game, we try to avoid drawing endurance cards. So we are not playing, we're avoiding characters where you, where you must draw endurance cards. And uh, so that's not thematic, though. I mean, because wouldn't you, if you're going to have a deck, wouldn't you want to draw cards from it yeah. to be able to use them? Yeah. Instead, we're playing to avoid it. Oh. So it's, it's maybe, maybe other people play that way. Mm -hmm. But from a strategy point, it works for us where we got everybody out. Nobody died. That's true. Okay. And then with the experience cards, it's like, well, Dietrich is like a, is like a super uh, marine now, <laughs> you know, with her uh, able to use the motion tracker deck oh, to look yeah, at the I top four cards. Yes. And then if you have the motion tracker, the strategy is I'll put the crappy card on the top, hope I can get rid of it. Right. So, uh, again, it just encourages you to do things that are not, th that games the system, but it's not thematic. Right. Uh, so let's take a look more about that. So it needed more play testing because these level cards here. Some of them are like, I would not take that. Mm. Uh, you, you look at them and you're like, uh, why would I ever want to do that one or this one? And then you, then you're, then you're again, you're, you're gaming the system. Well, I'm going to take this one. Just like people who play role playing games, they say, well, I'm going to take this character and then I'm going to take this skill because this skill will lead to this skill. Oh. And then when I get to level five, I'll be able to do triple damage. It, it encourages that crap. I see. Okay. Uh, well, I do know you helped me pick which one was best for me when I did my thing because I wasn't quite sure. Right. So then you're looking ahead like, okay, I want to do this so then I could do this in this situation, yeah. which isn't thematic for the movie. You're basically, like I said, gaming the system. And some of them you're avoiding, like, why would anybody ever take that one? Unless, you, unless you're like into <laughs> uh, uh, punishment and you want to make the game hard on purpose and see if you can survive. There are some people that are like that that want to see, you know, make the make it just like the movie and no. see how far you can get and maybe you just get out with one marine i mean i guess you can do that but that's not my idea of fun wow. uh all right so i already said the the, the cards are overpowered mm -hmm. it has odd hero abilities uh so for instance oh you mean these little cards well what i mean by that is that so whenever when you play a hero, this is who you're playing. Right. And if and if we're not playing Dietrich, she's a grunt. So she doesn't have these abilities. Oh, Remember? We have yeah. so these right here are grunts. They don't have any special abilities unless they have something passive like like Burke and uh, a Apon. Oh, okay. Yeah. So remember Drake. I didn't even notice that. Well you just forgot. That's all. So like oh I don't <laughs> I went to go to Julie's camera but the the computer is on Julie's see. camera. So, if you notice, for instance, you know, Drake makes sense, the abilities he has. It's thematic, all right? It's kind of cool that after he activates, he can move two more spaces because he's slow. On the other side, just like Vasquez, he, he can use the uh, smart gun uh, by paying two cards instead of three. I mean, that makes sense. But then you have Super Dietrich here, where is, if she <laughs> destroys a lot of uh, aliens with her uh, grenade or flamethrower, she recycles two cards. If you haven't played the, played the game, recycling cards is a way to stay alive. You mm -hmm. don't want to burn through cards, especially if you're playing the campaign. Right. So this deck here that you're playing, you want to keep as many cards as possible in there because if, it, if you discard the whole deck, you lose the game. So the deck management thing, now that I think about it, is more of a concern sometimes than playing the game. Mm. Instead of just yeah. going around killing aliens, I'm more worried about picking things true. to manage the deck. That's true. So it kind of, like I said, detracts from the theme. So it's just weird choices. It's like, so that's why, you know, it makes me wonder, did they really play test all this stuff? Did they go through rounds of this where you try different things and you had a blind play testing? I, I really wonder because can, uh, I know some people played at the conventions, but did they play with all the expansions? And how oh. many and how many uh, sessions did they do? 
So it needed rules for a larger fire team to recreate the movie. So in this, we, we have the leading edge that from the 1980s version that I did a print and play, and I enlarged it to uh, take the Whiz Kids aliens. So we will be playing that version of it, and I, and I put it on a sponge board, okay? When we played it with the boys, you were able to play with every Marine in the movie, and it played quicker than this. Okay, I hope so. And, but so thematically, right, we should be playing with all of the characters from the movie trying to get out of here. Yeah, because we didn't have Hicks and Ripley and right. Hudson. We didn't have a... So, again, it's, I understand that it would very... But see, they made these choices where you have to have you have to equip everybody. Yeah. And it becomes a, more of a deck, you know, character building game. But then if you do that, you can't have 12 characters on the board and it takes forever to play. So, the lead, so there is discussion on the Board of Game Geek uh, forums about people combining that leading edge version oh. with this one. Okay. And I don't know where they're at in that with the response to it. I've just seen people talking about it. Mm. So eventually we will play the leading edge version of it Okay. Uh, for comparison. So, yeah. I mean, so you're not really playing, you're not really recreating the movie. You're playing only half the movie in a sense with the characters. You're playing the nice version of the movie. Well, I don't know if it's a nice <laughs> version. It's just... They, Everyone gets out. Nobody dies. Well, the way we played it, everybody got out. Because, yeah. we, again, we were gaming the system. All right, so it sounds like I'm really negative on it, right? It's only because I'm a, such a fan that I would like to see this game uh, be better. I'm disappointed it's not as good as it could have been. All right, so let's take a look at our ratings. So when we give the ratings... It's based on the Board Game Geek uh, 1 through 10. So I gave it a 6.5. Uh, Julie's usually willing to play. So that means if I say, Julie, would you like to play this? She would say yes. <coughs> Unless she's really tired and doesn't want to play an hour, uh, hour and a half game. But because we're such fans of the movie, she's more likely to say yes. But for me, because of the negatives, I may not want to deal with... Uh, the fact that I got to, it's difficult to play it like the movie. How would I put this? If I play it like the movie, we might have a bad ex experience and we'll fail. Mm. Okay. If I play it like the way we're playing it now, then it becomes more of a, I'm going to uh, make it so ideal that we, everybody gets out. So this is weird. Uh, it doesn't make me want to play it as often then. Now, I know I'm happy to have it, and I know we will play it again. We will. But because of the um, amount of time that it takes to, as a two-player game, to manage all this stuff. It's a lot of stuff. Okay. It's kind of fiddly in that way. Yeah. I'm glad we, so as an expansion, I'm glad we have the other options. The experience cards kind of makes it easy, so it's not play-tested. So if we do play with the experience cards, do we add more motion tracker things? So, that, so you're not too sure then if you're making it too hard or too easy. So it's just, that's why, for me, I'll play it in the mood if I want to deal with that stuff. So. Okay. So what do you think, honey? I talked a lot there. Um, what do you think of my comments? I agree with a lot of it because for me, you'd be the one that has to set everything up. I mean, I'd be able to help a little bit, but... You'd have to take, you know, a good half hour just to set it up before we even start playing. And then if we start playing too late at night, I'm going to poo-poo on you pretty <laughs> quick. And then you're going to get frustrated because you're like, I spent all this time and you got well, no, tired. Well, just continue with the next day. It's true. We have yeah. to continue with the next day. But yeah. I would never just suggest that we play this one. Right. So that because you would say, hey, you want to play Aliens and you'd be willing to play uh, whereas me, I'd be like, I gotta really think twice if I want to play this game right now. Well, I would play yeah. the base game over this one. Well, when you say you play this one, that I mean, in other words, you might not want to play with the experience yeah, cards, yeah, yeah, yeah. which would add more playing right, time right, to right, it. Right, 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 right. Because then we gotta pick our pick our cards. Yeah, and, and I don't then, wanna do that. And then if we're using our abilities, it adds more playing. Time. I don't wanna do that. Okay, no. so that makes sense. <laughs> well, anyway, so that's our review. Of Aliens, Ultimate Badass. It is a fun game. It is. Just be prepared that you're going to be playing for a really long time, even with just two people. Well, I think people who buy this game are more used to playing long games. Oh, that could yeah. be. Uh, that could be. But people new to the hobby. 
probably this would not be a good choice no, for them. Not at no. all. Mm -mm. Uh, but anyways, check out our review of the core game because I, I have other things to say about that. Uh, again, I don't, I'm glad I own it, but it's kind of like a bad experience where you lived through it and now that you've lived through it, you kind of, you know, you don't regret going through it. It's kind of added to your experience. Okay. <laughs> All righty then. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, all right. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe. Just subscribe and like. Take right. care. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.